desk out from work. No, I'm not doing a camp straight from work, but this will be my next camp. Show you where I am. We call that where I come from the Nine Arches for obvious reasons, but it's actually Sankey Canal Viaduct. So I've got a drone footage. I sent me drone up here uh, a little while ago. So I thought I'd submit it to my channel. It's not on my channel, but at the same time I'll do some history. Might be a decent video. I know the I know the drone footage is decent, but with me talking over it, it might be boring. It might be okay. I don't know. Um, over here we can see Sankey Canal. Sankey Canal was built in 1755. That was built in 1830, I think, to carry trains over. There we go. Look at that perfect timing. So that way is Witness. That way is St. Helens. This actually rolled from from Spike Island, Sankey Canal that is, it runs from Spike Island in Witness all the way to the Hutties in St. Helens. Uh, this viaduct, like I've just said, was built to carry trains over. So what I'm going to do is upload this video and then chat some rubbish. I'm going to talk to you guys about what it is and what it does. So I'm going to put the video up now, let you have a look at it. I actually sent my drone up one morning about half past six and the sunrise was beautiful. The sun's too bad, we're still in March. And it's pretty decent. So there you go. So what you're looking at is the Sankey Viaduct, or as locals who live around here call it, the Nine Arches, for obvious reasons. It was designed and built by George Stevenson, the same person who you must have heard of, George Stevenson's rocket. The viaduct was built to, to traverse the valley for the Manchester to Liverpool rail route because steam trains couldn't go down into the valley and then back up. But to make sure or to allow boats and barges with sails, it had to be a minimum height underneath the arches of 18.3 metres. So to do that, they had to construct an embankment along the west side of 830 metres. This was made of hard clay and wood compressed together. All this was part of the industrial revolution that was striding across the world at the time. The actual canal was built in 1755, so it was a lot older than the viaduct itself. It's made from yellow sandstone and red brick and each of the nine semicircle arches are 50 feet across. It's finished in 1833 at a cost of £46,000. So that's 189 years old as I release this video. John Stevenson's rocket, as you see here, uh, 
won the Raynal Trials for being powered under its literally own steam, the fastest locomotion of its kind. So more recent times, in 1931 the can canal further down the valley was abandoned. 1963 the last navigable stretch of the canal was closed, so the last barge sailed down there. 1966 the Nine Arches was given Grade 1 listed building status so it can never be destroyed or knocked down. In 2002 the canal under the viaduct was actually backfilled in. There is still a stream that runs under there but the actual main Sankey canal was backfilled in. And then in 2015 Network Rail worked on it to electrify it and it's still used to this day as you've seen by the earlier in my video where I showed you the train going over it and then just one more fact on there is anybody with a passport I think most of us have got one if you turn to page 15 you will see George Stevenson's rocket going over the viaduct on page 15 of your passport.